I am trying the Refresh Eye Therapy. Apologize, the lighting in here is a little yellow. All my life I've been plagued with dark circles, so we're going to see if this solves it. So the instructions say you got to do one pump on your ring finger. And I think I did a little bit more than just one pump there. Sorry. And then just dab under the eye. I don't expect to see immediate results from this. And I'm sorry if I'm out of camera, um, but we will give it a couple days and see how it works. And I know I'm rubbing, not dabbing, but do it real lightly um, until it's rubbed in and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, so day two of applying. And take off the little rubber stopper. Had that off last time. Click. Ring finger. Pump. I don't know how well you can see that. And pat. And that's actually quite a lot of gel. I took pictures 15 minutes or so after I had done this yesterday because it looked different to me, but on camera it didn't really seem all that different. But I can definitely see how this moisture would reduce puffiness. Um, I still have the dark circles, so um, not sure if it's going to work on that, but this would definitely work for puffy eyes. Um, and if I'm out of frame, I'm sorry. The camera is right next to the mirror in my bathroom. Um, so I know it says pat, but I'm lazy and I'm just rubbing in real lightly. Um, if you've ever been to a Mary Kay event, because I'm not a huge makeup person, um, they'll tell you to use actually your pinky and pat with a, what is it called, what is it called, cover up or, or other makeups when it comes to applying to under your eye. Um, just because your pinky and your ring finger would actually apply the least amount of pressure because um, you're more used to applying lots of pressure with your index finger so and that's day two Alrighty, and we are on day three of using the Refresh Eye. Um, on average, because they say dark circles are caused by lack of sleep, but for a long time I've been sleeping anywhere from six to eight hours, so I'm pretty sure, you know, my dark circles aren't because of lack of sleep. Um, I have heard of people that say it's hereditary um, and there are people that have said that they've tried this product and they're disappointed with it because their her hereditary dark circles didn't go away. I'm not expecting it to be a miracle cure. Um, I don't know if it changes from day to day. 
Um, I haven't gone through all my pictures yet. Um, but um, I seem to notice a difference by the end of the day that the dark circles to me don't look any darker. Um, they look, sorry, they look lighter. So, um, so I feel like I notice a difference, but uh, we'll see with the pictures. So, and I always take the pictures in the, in the bathroom um, with the same lighting, so there isn't any tricks to my photos, so just, you know. So, day three. Oh, it would help if I turn the little novel. always completely rub it in. Um, I leave it a little bit moist. Um, it doesn't really take long to dry. Sometimes I've seen a little bit of residue left um, and I just wash it off. But for the most part, um, pretty simple. So, till next time. Okay, so this is my last day of using the um, Refresh Eye Therapy. Um, as you can see in the other photos, my dark circles aren't gone. Um, I still haven't compared them. That'll be um, something I do after this when I'm editing the video. Um, so you'll see a brief little comment about that. But um, it doesn't seem to get rid of my dark circles. I do see a difference in puffiness, which I don't really have much of a puffiness issue. Um, but I've had chronic uh, dark circles. I used to have a lot of insomnia issues, so that could contribute all to the dark circles. But without reviewing the pictures, to me, it does seem to reduce the, the darkness under my eyes. Um, I will continue to use the product until it's gone. I do recommend trying it. Um, if you're a chronic dark circle person and you've had sleeping issues, then it may reduce it, but chances are, like me, it won't get rid of them. Um, you might try a combination of other products. Uh, another product I'm going to be trying is um, Rada's Beauty uh, Eye Gel, and you use it once in the morning and once at night, um, but that's another product, actually. That's Cut that part out. Okay, so today is my last day of recording using the Refresh Eye. Um, I've always had chronic dark circles. I also used to have um, some insomnia issues. So if you are an insomniac, um, have sleeping issues, not sleeping too well, and have had chronic dark circles like I do, I'm going to tell you it's not going to get rid of it. Um, as you can see, I still have dark circles. Um, but if you have puffiness or maybe sometimes you get dark circles, I think this will help you because to me, I do, it does seem like they seem to fade away throughout the day. Um, and I take this, my pictures every morning prior to putting this on. Um, so you might see a difference throughout the day. I feel like I did. Um, and I also could see how it would reduce the puffiness. Um, one of the downfalls of the using the product is sometimes my eyes feel a little tight, um, but just rub them lightly later on in the day and that tightness starts to kind of break up. And that's probably because I don't rub it in enough. Um, a lot, it may not seem like a lot comes out on your finger, but when it goes to rubbing it in, it seems like a whole lot more than what you can. It almost seems like enough that one squirt is enough for two eyes. Um, but um, it doesn't say whether you do one squirt per an eye or not. So I could be, I probably should be using one, one uh, squirt for both eyes. Um, 
anyway, I would still highly recommend this product regardless of whether you've had chronic dark circles or not. Um, you might even want to use it in conjunction with other products. So even though it didn't get rid of my dark circles, it does reduce my puffiness. And without comparing my pictures, I noticed throughout the day that the dark circles are a little lighter. Um, so I do highly recommend this product. As a disclaimer, I do receive these products for free in order to review them. Um, and I just wanted to make that one disclosure available to you. My opinion of these products is not persuaded by them giving it to me for free. They are purely my own and honest uh, review. If you've tried these products, whether you agree with my review or disagree, I don't want to hear your comments below. Thank you again, and don't forget to subscribe, click like, and share. Thank you.